Hello and welcome. This is my son Lucas. My name's Magnus. And you're, what, just over 21 months old? And I've got to tell you, this man is teaching me loads. You may have heard the statement before that practice is the mother of skill. And what has really impressed me so much is observing my son in his beautiful divine right repeatedly going through the motions of trying to charge this battery charger down here. He's been pulling this thing out. Now some people might say, oh you can't let them play with electricity and I hear what you're saying but the point is he's already there doing this and at least I was watching him and showing him to turn it off, to turn it on, then he can pull it out and all the rest of it. But my point is this, he was practicing it. We must have been there for what, 15 minutes? And all he kept doing was repeating it. I was thinking, I'm getting bored. But he didn't. And what I find in life, and this is so interesting, and, and you can relate this to Edison. Do you think that Edison suddenly gave up when he tried a couple of times and found that the light bulb really wasn't working for him? No, he kept going. And, and the beautiful thing about children is they just keep doing it until obviously we tell them no or to stop and then they may, may build up um, a defense mechanism just to be mindful of that I mean my wife and I what we try and do is use other terms like we go, ah, ah, which means you know means no in a way means stop and he'll you know he'll just stop for a second because I don't want him to build up those defense mechanisms when we tell him no or shout at him no and things like that but repeatedly he kept going through it now I'm going to make another statement and only you know if this is true but knowledge is seriously overrated. There's so much knowledge and information out there. The challenge for all of us is to apply that which we know. We might know something, but we don't necessarily do anything about it. We don't align ourselves closer to where we want to go, what we want to do, who we want to attract in our lives. But by consistently, repeatedly practicing something, it will bring us closer to where we want to go without the expectation, the mother of all screw-ups and expecting something. Begin with the end in mind, where you want to go, absolutely, but learn as you go along. I mean, again, a beautiful example is a child. A child might try to climb something or do something and it doesn't attain it, but it doesn't get frustrated per se until we teach it how to. Now, I just wanted to short recording just to leave that with you. There's quite a bit of information about being consistent about repeated, repeating yourself, about aligning yourself. And for a lot of us, we don't even know where the finish line is. And we might stop even just short of it and check out. Whether that's with a relationship or setting up a business or whatever it is, keep going. Learn, listen as you go through it, but enjoy the process. Everything and anything in our lives is just a process. You could put the glasses on and enjoy it and look for the humour in life, or you can look for the brown, the faeces, the crap of life, and make yourself feel like that. Everything is a choice in life, to the degree that we want to learn. <laughs> and this man is a wonderful teacher. Have you, do you want to find Daddy's credit cards that you put in Mummy's purse then? It's a pirate. It's called Swahili and I don't understand any of it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Abadi Ghani Missouri Sana on Dio. Do you want to get the um, mummy's purse and then get daddy's credit cards out? Mummy. Mummy. <laughs> it's beautiful. Repeating things, practicing, having fun, aligning yourself. A lot of people will mummy. put their thoughts and, 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 and you know, Write, writing things down what they want but they haven't aligned themselves to get themselves closer to that person or that business. I mean sharing my own experiences I was given a wonderful opportunity about two years ago to set up a business and that was to distribute supplements throughout the UK and a beautiful man who I love and respect um, gave me this opportunity because I set this up when I was over in Canada and I kind of briefly thought about it and I didn't I didn't spend any time focusing on it and I, I just let it lie for about six months or maybe eight months actually and then all of a sudden I thought I'm not even talking about this I'm not even writing things down and learning and seeing how I will go about doing this and then another friend of mine who got really passionate about his uh, two flats in Malta was telling me about how things were going and, and how he was getting closer to getting people in renting them and all the rest of it and he kept talking about it and, and, and I suddenly thought this man's teaching me What's up my love? Would you like 
Let's get up. Come on then. Up you get. Come here. Oh, I think you're a little bit tired now, aren't you? Tai Tai. Mama. Mm. Mama will be back soon. So, certainly talking about something, but then be mindful of who you tell your dreams or your secrets with, because some people might want to put the fire out for you. So again, it's just, I think more than anything, it's just being aware that we are all products of this environment and we can make smart choices and learn as we go along. And all we need to do is to listen and to learn. Like, I can hear the kettles boiling. <laughs> so, just have fun and enjoy life. And don't take life too seriously, as I keep telling myself. Because I'm a very serious individual. My love to you all. Create yourself a great day. Bye for now.